How does someone go from being a nobody to a somebody? Is it the people that you know? Is it talent? Or is it just luck? My name's Jake. I've got a lot of good ideas. Maybe too many. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Jacob Fortin! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I always wanted to be a stand-up comic. Jake, are you gonna go pick up for me? Yeah, I think I'd be good at it, if I could only catch a break. In the meantime, living at my mom's means being at her beck and call. Doing stuff like picking up her meds at her friendly neighborhood dealer. Next one's free. And I was thinking about this um, book idea. And like every single chapter is Jake, like a short Jake, biography on the... Jake, you need to get a job. I need to get some money. Or I need to find a roommate. Okay, last my place to stay. At least I still have Laura. Can you get me a, a croissant? Do you don't have two bucks? Do you still believe in me? I believe in you. I think you're going to be very good at life. Very good and, at and life. I know you're going to make somebody very, very, very happy. When my world came tumbling down, I figured I'd head to the only place where a first-class loser like me can be somebody. New York City, a siren song for wannabe comedians who think fame is just around the corner. Like a typical illegal alien, I soon found myself a job in the hospitality industry. Hello, how are you? Good, but yeah. less pathetic. Hello, how are you? Not a robot. They're important, you're not. But you really care about them. I got the hang of the hotel job after a while, with the help of Maria, a very hot housekeeper. Do not change anything, unless it's really dirty. Oh, hello! Just cover it. It will dry. But a really cool thing that happened at the hotel was meeting George the Bellhop. Turns out he's an aspiring comic too. We have a lot in common. He rented me a room in his apartment. Yeah, 900 bucks a month plus utilities. You're gonna love it. And he introduced me to New York's dynamic underground comedy scene. We're gonna do Pulp Fiction, but in the 13th century. I don't think that's funny. But things really started to pick up when I got to pitch my act at a hot comedy club. Can you say something funny? Woozle wazzle? Like, I what was mean, thinking like... more like a joke. Well, the guy's got to see something in me because he's giving me a break. You got to see this guy. All right. <laughs> They're going to murder him. I did it. I took a leap of faith and I moved to New York. If only I'd known how easy it was going to be. For the first time in my life, I'm actually looking forward to the future. I'm looking forward to being somebody. 